Looking to experience the thrill of cruising down the road on an eco-friendly ride? E-bikes are the way to go. Whether you're a seasoned cyclist or a beginner, riding an electric bike is an easy and enjoyable way to get around. With their sleek design and effortless speed, these bikes are the perfect mode of transportation for anyone looking to save time and reduce their carbon footprint. But if you're new to the world of electric bikes, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll show you everything you need to know to get started on your e-biking adventure while keeping safety in mind. So strap on your helmet and let's get rolling. If you like what you see, don't forget to like this video, click the subscribe button, and hit that bell to get notified of new videos. Biking is undoubtedly a source of joy and excitement. However, there's a distinct thrill that comes with riding an electric bike. While both traditional and electric bikes share commonalities, the experience of riding an electric bike can be notably distinct due to its pedal assist feature and, of course, the electric motor. If you've ever pondered how to navigate the world of electric biking, you're not alone. Electric bikes may share the fundamental characteristics of traditional bikes, but they do possess unique qualities. Investing in an electric bike represents both a significant purchase and an exciting new adventure. While the decision to embrace this mode of transportation is undoubtedly worthwhile, it's essential to prioritize safety while enjoying the myriad benefits of improved fitness, eco-consciousness, and sheer enjoyment. With that being said, the first and foremost thing you have to do is familiarize yourself with the e-bike before riding it. This is crucial for a safe and enjoyable riding experience. Firstly, check the bike's brakes, gears, pedals, and display panel to ensure everything is in good working condition. Test the brakes by gently squeezing the levers to see if they engage smoothly and bring the bike to a stop. Check the gears to ensure they are shifting smoothly and there are no unusual noises or jerks. Make sure the pedals are secure and not loose. Lastly, check the display panel to see if it's functioning correctly, showing your speed, battery level, and other important information. If you find any issues with the bike's components, it's best to have them fixed or replaced before taking the bike out for a ride. This will prevent any accidents or mishaps on the road. The next step is to adjust the seat and handlebars to your desired height and comfort level. Proper adjustment of the seat and handlebars is important for a comfortable and safe ride. You should be able to reach the pedals and handlebars comfortably with a slight bend in your elbows and knees. The seat height should be adjusted so that your feet can touch the ground when you come to a stop. To adjust the seat, loosen the seat clamp and slide the seat up or down to the desired height. Tighten the seat clamp securely once you have found a comfortable position. To adjust the handlebars, loosen the stem bolts and adjust the handlebars to a comfortable position. Tighten the bolts securely once you have found the right position. Once you have adjusted the seat and handlebars, take the bike for a short test ride to ensure everything feels comfortable and safe. Make sure to make any necessary adjustments before heading out on a longer ride. Now, are you ready to hop on an electric bike? With all the systems turned off, the electric bike operates the same as a regular bike you may have at home. You can start pedaling as you would on a regular bike and use the regular brake and gear systems. However, the electric controls are located on the handlebars, and to turn the bike on, you need to press and hold the power button located on the bottom side of the handlebars. This will activate the bright display, which provides useful information, such as your battery life, current speed, and the wattage at which the motor is running. The most frequently used function for most riders is the pedal assist feature. This feature provides an extra boost of power to the rider's pedaling, making it easier to ride uphill or into strong winds. The pedal assist can be adjusted according to the rider's preferences using the controls on the handlebars. The level of this boost is adjustable, and the higher the level, the greater the assistance you'll receive for the same amount of effort. To adjust the assistance level, locate the plus and minus buttons on your controller. By pressing the plus button, you can increase the assistance level. You'll notice that as you do so, your bike's assistance will become more pronounced. You can adjust the level up to 5, providing you with significant support. Conversely, if you wish to decrease the assistance, you can use the minus button on the display. By pressing it, you can lower the assistance level, eventually reaching zero if desired. This adjustable assistance level allows you to customize your riding experience, 
giving you the freedom to choose the level of power assistance that best suits your needs and preferences. The throttle on an electric bike is a thrilling feature that enhances the riding experience. You'll find the throttle conveniently located next to your display on the right side. Engaging the throttle requires physically holding down the button, ensuring control over its activation. Moreover, the throttle is highly responsive, meaning that the intensity of the boost you receive corresponds to the force applied. A gentle push will provide a subtle acceleration, while pushing, it fully unleashes the maximum power output from the motor. The experience of riding an e-bike differs from that of a traditional bike, primarily due to the higher speeds involved. Regular bike riders may not typically reach the speeds achievable by electric bikes. This distinction is particularly pronounced in the United States, where Class 3 electric bikes can reach speeds of up to 26 miles per hour. However, it's worth noting that even at lower speeds, the contrast remains evident. Even if you're comfortable riding at faster speeds, there's a distinct difference between exerting significant effort to reach those speeds and effortlessly being propelled by the motor. It's a unique sensation when the motor swiftly accelerates you to your desired speed, requiring minimal effort on your part. Another important thing to remember when riding an e-bike is to stay hyper-aware in traffic. The underestimated speed of cyclists by motorists is a common occurrence. Given that e-bikes are not yet widespread, drivers might not anticipate you moving at their pace. Adopt a defensive riding approach, assuming that drivers might not see you. Exercise caution and moderate your speed when navigating congested areas. Enhance your visibility by utilizing daytime riding lights to ensure you stand out. Exercise caution when starting and stopping. Due to the increased weight and higher velocity, it will take you longer to decelerate and come to a complete stop. Begin applying pressure to your brakes well in advance of approaching intersections. Remember that your e-bike will accelerate faster than usual, so avoid pulling into traffic until it is entirely clear. Additionally, due to the e-bike's weight, you might experience initial wobbliness when starting or stopping. Prior to venturing onto busy roads, practice mounting, dismounting, and stopping in safe areas to gain confidence and control. And there you have it. Just remember these safety tips and you'll be cruising with confidence. If you had to choose, would you hop on an e-bike or saddle up on a traditional bike? Tell us in the comments below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.